time for another video. Today, we're bringing back Pinky Pink, Pinkish Blue, actually, Wednesday. And we are gonna do a double deboxing of both of these Laguna Blue Skultimate Secrets. This is the original, this is the Fearidescent. So, we're just gonna get on into it. First, I'm gonna show you the boxes just real quick. I know probably everybody has seen them, but I just wanna show you so you can see in my video. This is the original Laguna Blue in her locker, Monster High Skultimate Secrets. I love the box art, definitely keeping that. Then it has all the gook down here. Then it has these nice bright doors with all of her little accessories and whatnot. And then on the back here is the rest of the ghoulies that you can get. I think I have all of them except for Frankie from the first wave. So that is awesome. And then there is the Fearidescent Laguna Blue. Just look at this Darko art. Oh, I love the box art on these. Monster High Skultimate Secrets. And then it has the Fearidescent with the like icicles on the bottom. So cool. Now this one has colors that are variant from teal, light green to like just the sparkly on this one, not multiple colors. And then on the back, the rest of the ghoulies, like I said, that you can get. I know that I have Draculaura. My mom got her for me as like a surprise, happy day thing because she knows I like Draculaura. I know I don't have Frankie and I know I don't have Cleo here, but I want Cleo really bad. I might have Claudine here. I'm not for positive. I can't remember. That's terrible. Oh my goodness. I know for a fact that I do have Draculaura. So the reason I have both Lagunas is because my mom picked them. She loves Laguna for some reason. And she keeps saying, get this one. Both of these, I believe were gifted from mom. I might've bought this one myself, but I know that my mom got me one of these. I can't remember which one. Sometimes it runs together, but anyway, you know the drill. We're gonna cut into them and get on into the dolly loveliness that is Laguna Blue. All right, y'all, I'm back. I got the outside packaging off of these beauties. Now I'm gonna let you see with me my reaction to the way they look on the inside. So we're gonna go for this girl first. Brrr, drum roll, hopefully she's not wonky eyed. <gasps> I think she looks good. I don't see wonky eyes. I don't see anything really that I can see that's wrong. Good lip. Oh, yay, yay, yay. We'll bust her out in a second. I just want you guys to see my reaction to it. So I'm gonna do both of them at first and then I'm gonna go through this doll and then this doll. But I wanna see Brrr, double drum roll. Hopefully, fingers crossed, no wonky eyes. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. She looks good to me too. I don't see anything wrong with her lip. People were having problems with the lips on these because they were sparkly, but this one looks good. Her eyes look pretty, yay. Let's see this one. Good waves only, that's so cute. And then she's got her little besties here. And then the this or that, like do you like this or that for her? Then she's got a couple more Polaroids and I guess her birthday is 610. That's cute and it's got the little monster high and then the little piece Laguna, so super cute. So I'm gonna cut her out and then I'll come back to you. All right, y'all, we are back. I got cutie Laguna here out of her packaging. This is so cute. I'm definitely keeping the back card. I cut all the little cable tie things that had her tied in off so that we can see it. Look, her little fish is down here. I forgot the fish's name, but it's so cute. Love that. Love the little backards that they're like themed for the doll. Now here's the key. We all know water play, all that stuff. I'm not gonna bother with all of that. We don't need to deal with all that. We're just gonna get on in to her little doors real quick and see her stuff. There's this one. Let's see what we get, what we get. Okay, this is the clothing it feels like. Yeah, and some, oh, the other key. I'm like, what is the other thing? It's the other key. We'll use this one from now on because it's pink, pinky pink. Okay, here's her clothes that were in that little bag. It has the little ruffles down the side of the sleeves and the little iridescent on the side and her little fish heart there. This is so cute. And then her little peely green top that says surf with the mesh arms, love that. And then the little skirt, the two lines down it. And I think these are hibiscus flowers. These are really pretty. This is super cute. I really like this pattern here. This is really pretty. So let's see what we get in the next little door. All right, let's see what's in door number two. All right. I love the packaging on these. They did a really good job. I love that the question mark ends with a little skullette. That's so adorable. Let's see, let's see what's in here. 
oh, it's her accessories. I always seem to fling something, but this time I didn't. <laughs> her little earrings, I think, are down in here. Feels like something else. I just don't want to lose one. Yeah, there they are. It's her little ball cap with the little drips on it and the little fish. That's so cute. And then here's her necklace in the gray tone, not metallic. Stop doing the gray and the gold for the metal. It's not my favorite, but it is cute. And then here are her hibiscus earrings. These are so stinking cute. I love these. At least these have some paint detail on them. Love that. Okay, door number three. I like this color, this periwinkle blue. It's really pretty. Let's see what we get in this bag. What do we get? What do we get? Oh, this has the other key and the little skullet keychain. And then oh, our shoes. I knew I felt something hard and I was thinking, what else could be hard? But it's the shoes. <laughs> Silly me. I haven't opened one of these in a minute, so I forget what they have in them, which is kind of fun because you don't really remember. But there are her secondary shoes. Now, they don't have anything but this for like fish motifs, these waves. They do have a wave on the bottom. That is pretty cool. But I like that they're not so overly like fishified or whatever, but I do enjoy that they painted the laces and this top part is iridescent. I don't know if you can see that in the lights here, but it's super pretty. Now last pinky pink door. Gonna see what we get. If I can get it open. <laughs> Didn't want to come open. All right, last. What are we gonna see? Not exactly sure. Like I said, it's been a minute since I opened one of these. Oh yeah, her accessories. Hey, these are my favorite. Look at these. Little like sushi wrap. This is so adorbs, y'all. I love this stuff and I love that they put the little thing where they can actually hold it. That's one of my favorite things. Oh, <gasps> organic gummy. Are you kidding me? It looks like, um, what are those called? I know what these gummies are in real life. They have like a yellow and blue box and they're something like redfish or something. I don't know, but this is so cute. The only thing that's missing in my mind, the real products did with like calories and stuff. That's the only thing, but I absolutely love these. These are awesome. And last, oh, she's got coconut milk. What? See how this one has like the barcode and stuff? That's all. Love that these both have the little thing where she can hold up. Yay, so much fun. All right, now we're gonna get into this beautiful Laguna. Now I know that most people hate the poly hair and it's not my favorite either. I can't remember if this version has the poly hair because this doesn't feel that bad to me. I mean, it feels like it definitely needs a wash because it has that like greasy kind of feel and it's all like lumpy bumpy box hair, but it doesn't feel like straw like the poly does. So maybe this one doesn't, I'm not for certain. I love her. I love that they have the upper body joint for articulation. They have the 360 arm and the elbow and the wristy joint, the expressive neck and head. That's one of my favorite things. And the knee, loving the knee joints. These are so cute and I was extra careful trying not to scratch her. She does have a little bit there, you know, getting her out because you know that comes off but I did the best I could I know that they're not gonna be perfect because of the way they have them trapped in there but since we're down here y'all look at these shoes it's an octopus wrapped around her foot like what in the world these are so detailed I love monster high shoes the bottoms are kind of plain for monster high shoes but I'm okay with it I absolutely love these love that the tentacle is pink and then it wraps all the way up to where her fins are that is so cute and that the little tentacle is curled the way that it is that detail right there is amazing to me I love it love 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 it since we talked about the shoes we saw the bottom of the leg and the fins let's go up here and talk about our cute little shorts I love the fish pattern on the shorts I love the little faux button and it has the little velcro closure in the back super duper cute I love the hibiscus top I prefer this top over the surf top they are both really really cute I love the tealy ruffle here so adorbs that's one of my favorite colors it has the tie at the neck and then the velcro at the back mine is just not velcroed right but I'm sure that's just you know easily fixed see there we go kind of matches my nails that's why I did my nails in pink and blue for these pink and blue lagunas <laughs> if you guys were wondering why they're like that she has her little like fishy ears love that detail so stinking cute and I'm really 
surprised at how much I like her teal lips. Look at her cute face with her little hazel eyes and then her little smattering up here, like fishy scales, and then her smattering of freckles, 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 which are my favorite. Love, love, love it. And I love the colors that they used in her hair. I think that this blue is really pretty and then this purpley color. And I don't even mind this kind of like lemony yellow. I think it's really pretty. I think it's a pretty blend. Some people don't like it, but we're all different. And me as a dolly collector, I love it. Love, love, love her. Love her little pinky self. She's so cute. My mom loves Laguna. I know I said that at the beginning, but she also loves Cleo. Every time we end up going to the store together, she picks out a Laguna or a Cleo and says, do you have her? And so I told her, I said, those must be your favorite because she always picks one up. But anyway, I just thought that was cute because she's not a doll person like I am. But my family is very supportive of my dolling, my dollaholic self, which is very nice, which not everybody has. So that's wonderful. I love sharing with y'all. So I tell you those little things. I am going to pause, put her earrings in and put one of her little treats on her hand and run a brush through her hair. Okay, we are back. I wanted you to see what she looks like with her hat on. It doesn't want to stay very well. It keeps popping up. I think it's because of the way her ears are, but I wanted you to see what she looked like with her hat on and I brushed her hair. It looks better, but it still, like I said, needs a wash and my treatments that make it look all sparkly and new. I put her little earrings in and I put her little wrap in her hand. I think what I'm gonna do is take her hat off and switch her shorts into that skirt so you guys can see that. Then I'm going to be done with this Laguna and we're going to get into that one. All right, y'all, here she is changed into her little skirt. That was a chore. I have to say taking the shoes off was not fun. You just have to be careful with them because I didn't want to bungee the octopus tentacles here and you couldn't get the shorts off or the skirt on without taking them off. So if you're going to do that, now you know. Here she is, adorable Laguna. I love her. I love the little patterning on this. I like the skirt and the top together. I do. Don't get me wrong but I think I did prefer the shorts now that I see it together like this I don't know maybe if I switch the shoes but I love these shoes I'm gonna leave these shoes on her I think that those ones up there are nice but these ones hands down are the better of the two so I'm definitely gonna keep these on her for my display doll I might switch her back to the shorts though and I might put her jacket on I don't know I just wanted to be able to see this cute top and this ruffle and if you put that on you can't really see it because of all the big bulky arms and stuff on the jacket so we shall see but but this is the first Laguna Cutie Ultimate Secret Girl and I got to share with you and I am so glad. Now we're gonna get on into the Fearidescent Girl. All right, I'm gonna cut her out of the box and then I'm gonna come back to you. All right, here she is out of her box. We're just gonna go for door number one and see what we get. Now, I remembered that these were rainbow colored. I like these. These are really, really cute, but I do like the minty green ones from the first series as well. Oh, right. This is her puffy thing, right? Yeah, and her clothes and another key. Let's see, is that everything? Yeah. She has this little tie-dye top. I love tie-dye. And the little faux bow at the bottom with the little fishy heart theme. Velcros at the back. Ooh, that would have been pretty on the front, that blue pattern there. Pretty, pretty. Then there's this. Oh, ooh. Oh yeah, good. Super soft. Sometimes when they do the fur, they use the cheapy fur, but this is definitely the nice fur. And then it has this like scaly pattern on the back. This is really nice. And then there's these little shorts. Now I wasn't crazy about these when I saw them you know, in the promo pictures and I'm still not that crazy about them in person. So I like the idea of the mesh underneath stuff, but I don't know, these just great big trunk shorts, not my favorite, but I do like this pattern over here on this side. All right, let's get into door number two. Let's see what we get in this little rainbow baggie. She keeps sliding around. I had to adjust her, but we're gonna see what's in this baggie. Oh, it's her head crown and another key. Probably some small accessories that I don't wanna fling. <laughs> see, let's see, I can feel them. Did I get them all? Yeah, okay, I got them all. So here is the little crown thing. I like it. I like the way it's molded. I just would have preferred that they, you know, painted some of these details because it being all one color is kind of like, I don't know, just kind of meh to me. Here is her necklace. 
Now the necklace I really like, even though it's plain, it does have the little octopus there painted, peachy coral color, which I do like, and this kind of looks like pearl beads or something. And then there's these, which are her earrings. Again, just wish they would have painted them in the actual metallic instead of just making them plain gray, but I could do that myself, no big deal. If I had to complain, that would be something that, that kind of bothers me, that's all. All right, minty drawer next. Let's see what we get. Whatever this is. I don't remember all the stuff that she has, so whatever it is is big. Aha, it's the little silver skullette that holds the keys. Shoes, why do I keep forgetting the shoes, y'all? <laughs> I'm crazy, I guess. <laughs> and the little fancy key, which we'll use this one from now on because it's sparkly. And then here is the second pair of shoes. These I like. Still think I like the one she's wearing more than these, but I do really like these because look, they've got the little mouth at the back with the teeth, like a piranha or something. They've got the buckles across the top with the little straps, and then they've got the fin on the side, and I like that they use the like see-through kind of blue with the sparkles in it. That is really pretty. I like that. I just would have preferred that they paint some of these details because there's so much detail going on, and they didn't paint it. And then there's little waves on the bottom. That is so cute. Now last, the sparkly door. Let's see what we get. What is in here? Oh, it's her purse. I forgot about that. See? Makes it like it's new when you don't open them right when they're new when everybody's looking at the pictures. <laughs> I would have remembered then, but since, you know, it's been a minute. Oh, this is so cute. Look at this purse. Does it open? It does. Oh, and I love the iridescence. It opens. Oh, and it was easy to open. Love that. And then, oh, look at her ice cream with the little fish tail coming out. That is so cute. And then what's this? Is this makeup? Let's see if I can get it open without breaking my nails. Sometimes they make these really hard to get into, y'all. It is. And it, it has a little powder puff. Oh, that is so adorable. It looks iridescent on the inside with fish scales. I'm not sure why there is spider pattern on that, but there is. But super cute. Love the little clamshell makeup. So cute. I think I might have bent that, but oh well. <laughs> it's mine. But I love this. I love, love, love the ice cream. I think <sighs> the, purse, the purse and the ice cream are tied for my favorite accessories. That's for sure. Okay, we're going to take a close-up look of this iridescent Laguna here. This definitely feels different. This fiber, this I'm almost certain is poly. That probably isn't because this feels completely different than that. That feels nice. This feels not so nice, which is sad to me because I really like the coloring of this one. I mean, I love the coloring of that one too, but just the face. I love the lips. Look at the lips. Look at the sparkle in the lips. Super, super cute. And being this close up, she definitely has good eyes and good placement, good brows, good fish scaling on her head, good smattering of freckles. Nothing wrong with that. Cute little ears, just like the other one. But yeah, definitely the hair is a disappointment because it's all matted at the end. So I'm definitely going to have to brush it. This is what it looks like. Look at how matted it is straight out of the box. That's not going to be fun. But anyway, for articulation, she has the up, down, back, forth, side, side, head rotation, the 360 at the shoulder, the bendy elbow, the bendy wrist with the 360 as well. She has the upper body joint. I love that. She has the knee joint, but there's little plastic protectors. I'm assuming it's so that her paint won't get scratched. But yeah, they don't want to bend as well as they should, but it's just because of the protectors. And then, since we're down here, let's take a look at these shoes, y'all. These shoes are amazing. I love the ombre from the light lilac -y purple to the mixing in the middle there and then down to this tealy color. Absolutely beautiful. Look at the bottoms. They're so cute. I love all the details. I love the whoosh there. There that's supposed to look like an ocean wave. Really, really pretty. Oh, I do really like those shoes, but these, again, that are on her, I'd have to say are my favorite. The skirt, I do like it, but I don't love it. I don't love this material, and it keeps wanting to ride up, and it's like stuck like that. Like, I know that's probably from being in packaging and stuff, and I'll just have to, like, you know, let it work its way out. But I like that that looks like a little fishtail there. That is cute. And I do like the idea of the skirt. I know they had to have this 
with it, that that was like the theme for the Fearadescent. But I wish they would have put it somewhere else, to be honest, because that is not my favorite. The way it fits is kind of cumbersome and stuff. This is just my doll in my opinion, but that's how I feel about it. It does have the Velcro in the back. I love how it looks though, how it turns in the light. That's awesome. Since we're back here and her shirt's a little wonka doodle, we'll fix that. So we see that that has the Velcro too. I like this top, but I don't love it. I love the sleeves. I think the sleeves being this sparkly sheer fabric is really, really cute. I like the ocean wave kind of marbled -y paint pour looking top that is pretty but I just I don't know I don't think it goes for some reason I think this top would probably look cuter with this in my opinion I don't know maybe not it is nice that they give you the extra clothes if you don't like it but I'll probably restyle her I'll probably take this skirt off of her because I don't really care for it and put something else on bottom maybe I don't know not those shorts because those I really don't care for I'll try them on like a different doll, but I just, I don't know. I just don't really like them, you know, and it's gonna be my doll on my shelf. So I don't wanna like have it dressed in a way that I don't love. So there is that. I think I went through everything on her. So now what I'm gonna do is pause here. Then I'm gonna brush her hair out, style her up a little with her accessories and stuff and come back to you. All right, y'all, we are back. And definitely now that I've brushed it, I know this is Polly and that is not. The ends are like fried and it's brand Brand new so yeah not a fan of that it's much better brushed I have to say and I didn't lose as much hair as I thought I was gonna as matted as it was I did trim the little ends because there wasn't that much to like show you to bother with there was just a few danglers put a lot of this stuff on her but I'm not a fan of like all of this stuff being on her I think the necklace is too much for me so I put it on so you could see but I would leave it off I think she looks better without it again these are my opinions in my dolly world I took her hand off and put this down it's more like like it's a wristlet instead of her holding it because I didn't want it to fall when I was talking about her. And I love the little ice cream that is so, so cute. I had to put it in her hand even though it looks kind of crazy. She's all fancied up and she's carrying an ice cream. So I'll take that off as well. Now the wrap, I do love, but when you put it around her shoulders, let me show you. It looks all right, but again to me, it's just a little much. See, if it's like this, it's cute, but it just covers everything up. So to me, my opinion, it's just a little much, like I said. Now with it on her arm, I don't mind it, but then you can't really see the skirt. Now I did pull on it to make it less wonka do, but it's just gonna be wonky because I didn't want to overstretch it and mess it up. So I just left it after I pulled on it a little to make it less like crimped like it was. So I put her earrings in. I had a little trouble with that because her head is pretty soft, see? And they didn't want to go in and I didn't want to bend the peg. So if you get her, be mindful of that. Now the head thing, I like it, like I said, but I keep pushing it down and it just keeps popping right back up. I don't know if I would leave that on her personally myself unless maybe I could get it warm and reform it so that it doesn't keep popping up. But with this, you can't see her little fish scales. So I'm not sure how I feel about that. Overall, I'd have to say this one, I'm a little disappointed in because of those things. If you push it down too far, it covers up all of that and then it starts to encroach on her eyebrows, which I don't care for. The earrings didn't wanna go in and they're, you know, that funny gray color that I don't care for. So I'm definitely gonna paint these, the skirt being funny, but good points. Love the lips, love the face, love the bag, love the shoes of the little ice cream and the little compact the secondary shoes are awesome as well love this little shirt super super cute so I do like a lot of the stuff I just don't love it all if I'm being honest that's just my opinion so I would give this one a seven and a half out of ten this fearadescent girl that's just my opinion I love her eye makeup and you know all that stuff but I've seen multiple videos where people have cut all this hair off and and rerouted it and these dolls are $30 I'm not gonna do that but you know I really don't care for the hair fiber not nice if I was rating this first series Laguna I would give her like an eight and a half nine I like her much more overall I like her accessories and stuff a lot more I'm not mad at either one of them I think they're both really cute in their own way and I like things about both so I'm not like 
completely disappointed in all of them. I'm just disappointed a little in some of the things. And like I said, you know, that's just a me thing. Everybody that does this dolly thing that we do has their own likes, their own preferences for their dollies to be how they want them. That's just my opinion. And I share my opinions with you when I debox dolls because I want you guys to know, you know, the real. I don't sugarcoat anything. I don't say something is great when it's not. I just say what is. I let you know about the hair straight out of the box and you know how it feels and all that stuff just so you can make an informed decision on whether or not you might like to buy either or both of these yourself because I watch other people's videos before I have the dolls sometimes and I gather my thoughts and opinions from what they say like I take everything with a grain of salt you know how it is overall I do really like the Lagunas they're really really cute I'm just disappointed in a few little things which we already talked about so if you made it this far in this double deboxing on pinky pink kind of blue Wednesday, I have to say love and hugs to all who are watching. And I also have to say thank you, thank you so very much for being with me and for watching y'all. As always, I hope everybody watching is well, happy and safe, having a great, great, great pinky pink dolly Wednesday. And that all the good, best things that are in this life that can come to you, I honestly, truly hope that they will. I have to say, great, big, huge, 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 lovely subscriber love to all you wonderful, lovely subscribers. Y'all are awesome. Y'all are the best. Y'all are wonderful. All the best words I think about y'all. I can never say say enough how wonderful and special you are to me. I can't thank you enough either for the likes, the comments, the sharing, watching the videos, coming along the journey, joining the Great Big Dolly Barbie YouTube family we have here, which is absolutely wonderful. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you, thank you so very much for everything, y'all. <laughs> if you haven't subscribed yet, I don't know what you're waiting for. Come on, y'all. We do everything here. We do do boxings. We do Pinky Pink Wednesday. We do tutorials. We do thrift hauls. We do vlogs. We do shorts. Anything you can think of in the Dolly world, we're going to try it right here and share it with y'all. So if you want to come along this crazy journey and see my Dolly silliness, Dolly craziness, and Dolly loveliness, become part of the great big Dolly Barbie YouTube family we have built here because absolutely everyone is always welcome here and we would love to have you. Well, y'all, we did it. This double deboxing on Pinky Pink-ish kind of blue Wednesday. Do y'all know what I'm gonna say? Happy, happy dolling and bye, y'all.